All right, guys, today's video is going to be about subtracting across zeros, which just means there's zeros in the top number. Let's take the number 40. Take away 23. So you know how to do this. One's column first, right? There's no ones. Take away three ones. Can't do it. You might have heard people say, go next door. Well, yes, we're going to be going to the next place value place. And we're going to see, well, are there any tens I can borrow from? And yes, actually there are, there's four tens. Four tens can become three tens, because I'll take one of those tens, put it in the ones column, to indicate that now it's 10 ones, which gives me the ability to go ahead and subtract. And take away three is seven, three tens take away two tens is one ten. Now what you wanna do when you subtract, take a look at this. The original number was 40, right? What would this number be? Three tens and ten ones. It was three tens would be 30, and ten ones would be 10, which is still 40. And that's important to understand. We haven't changed the value of that top number. We've just converted it into different units to make it easier for us to subtract. So keep that in mind. Sometimes kids forget about that. They don't keep, think about what they're actually doing with those numbers. So let's try. 400 take away 23. Okay, so well, zero ones take away three ones, can't do it. Go next door, look for some tens, think, well, there's no tens there. But wait a minute, this whole thing is one number. This whole number is one value. So really, there's 40 tens in this number, right? There's, what is 40 tens anyway? Let's see. 40 times 10 is the same thing as 400. So in this part of the number, there are 40 tens. So we can take one of them, 39. 40 tens become 39 tens. Why? Because I gave one of the tens to the ones place. Simple as that. 10 take away three is seven. Nine tens take away two tens is seven tens. Three hundreds take away no hundreds is 377 altogether. Now we started with 400, let's check. We have 39 tens, that's represented here, and one more group of 10. Let's make sure that that's still 300, I mean 400. 39 groups of 10 equals 390, okay, that's that, plus that other 10, yep, same exact amount. This whole amount didn't change on the top. We just converted the units to make our life easier, right? Okay, let's try 4,000. Take away 123. All right, same thing, starting in the ones column. No ones, take away three ones, can't do it, have to borrow. I'm gonna go next door, but really we're trying to borrow from the rest of the number. This is all one number. No tens there, but wait a second. I actually have 400 tens in this number. How do I know? Let's see. What is four? What does 400 groups of 10 equal out to be? 400 times 10 is 4,000. That's the amount we're working with up top. So we really have 400 tens in that number. So we can take one. 400 becomes 399. Why? Because I gave one of those tens and put it in to the ones place. And now I can just proceed. 10 take away three is seven, nine take away two is seven, nine take away one, nine hundreds take away 100 is 800, and three thousands taken away no thousands is still three thousands. Check, make sure that this still, we didn't mess with the amount on top, 399 groups of 10 plus one more group of 10. 399 groups of 10 is 3,990 plus one more group of 10. That was that. Here's that. Yep, sure enough. 4,000. We didn't change the amount on top at all. We just converted the units to make it easier for us to do our subtraction. So keep that in mind while you're subtracting across zeros today.